Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to solve a problem dealing with the unit circle. So try it out and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. Okay, so look at the language here. It's just the terminal side of an angle, theta, the symbol here is theta, of an angle in standard position intersects the unit circle at this point. One is the value of the secant of theta. All right, so there's a lot to unpack there, but what we'll say is we've got some angle. The standard position starts on the x-axis and then goes clockwise from there as the sun rises to a terminal side, so a starting side and terminal side. We don't even usually draw the, the starting side, but anyway, terminal side just, just means where the angle ends. Now, a unit circle is specifically a circle with an angle with a radius of 1. And let me just calculate it right way. Uh, we can undo that. I can do a better job. All right, so this is my unit circle. Uh, okay, that, that'll work. And it's saying that the terminal point here, which is negative one third and negative square root of eight over three, right? That's the, the point where the angle meets the circle and the radius is one. So you might know already, I'll just tell you if you don't, that the x value is equal to the cosine of the angle you're looking at and the y value is the sine of the angle. So in this case, we want to know the secant. Now the secant is the reciprocal of the cosine, right? The secant of theta is one over the cosine of theta. So if the cosine of theta is negative one third, the secant is the reciprocal of that. And that's just one over negative one third, which is the same as one times negative three over one or negative three. And that's the secant. All right, I hope this helped.